It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, May the 7th. I'm Michael Graff. Typical for this time of year, hot and dry conditions. Not so typical is just how hot it's going to be. How long will that last? Do we have any relief in the heat and any chances of rain to talk about? Let's see if we can find some answers to those questions. First, we started off by looking at the almanac from yesterday. A record-breaking 106 degrees was the high in the valley after a morning low of 73. You see the previous record high, 105, set in 1947. And outside right now, let's take a look toward western Arizona. That's the London Bridge over toward Lake Havasu City. You see some high clouds out there. We have high clouds right now here in the valley. Partly sunny skies, 90 degrees at Sky Harbor right now. Dew points at 31 Humidity, 12%. The winds are calm. The barometer is steady. Temperatures around south central Arizona this morning, 96 degrees. The warm spot right now at, of all places, Fort McDowell. It's 95 at Apache Junction. Most of us are in the upper 80s and low 90s right now. Water vapor satellite view. We've got a ridge here in the southwest providing us with this hot and mostly dry weather. You see some high clouds making their way through the westerly flow, however. Watch warning map. We have an air quality alert issued by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality for Maricopa and Yuma counties. Also, an excessive heat watch along parts of the Colorado River and in sections of southeast California. Our heat warning expired yesterday evening. Elsewhere across the country, a few air quality alert issues for uh, the San Antonio and Dallas-Fort Worth area. A red flag warning parts of West Texas as well as North Dakota. Convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe storms across parts of the Plain States from Gillette, Wyoming toward Rapid City, South Dakota. And precipitation for the next seven days around here? Well, you know the deal. We're in the dry season, so nothing in the valley, nothing statewide. Let's get into the details of our weather now as we take a look at the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The upper look is where we start. Uh, The view in the atmosphere at about 18,000 feet. Big ridge out here across the west, a short wave passing through the northern Rockies, and that all translates to hot and dry conditions down at the surface. Some high clouds, otherwise, we'll call it partly cloudy today, high temperatures 101 to 104. Another scorcher will stay well shy of the record high for the date, however. Tonight, with partly cloudy skies, lows mid-60s in the cool spots, mid-70s in the urban core. Tomorrow, again, partly cloudy and hot, highs 100 to 103. More or less the same thing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as ridging persists through the southwest states. High temperatures mainly anywhere from 99 to 102 for the rest of the week. Now, Saturday, we've got a short wave that begins to move on to the west coast. And so the winds will start to pick up later this weekend across southern California and parts of Arizona. And temperatures start to slide. We see highs in the mid and upper 90s on Saturday, low to mid 90s for your Mother's Day Sunday. But of course, the conditions stay dry, just a few high clouds from time to time. Here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 14th of May. Got a short wave here across the southwest, ridging off the west coast. High temperatures right around 90 to the low 90s or so. Low to mid 90s on Tuesday the 15th. And then this is the end of the 10-day forecast period, Wednesday the 16th. Still see a very weak little short wave hanging out over the southwest. And if that's right, high temperatures kind of right around average for this time of year. And that would be low to middle 90s. Check the temperatures coming off the GFS Ensemble through the period. We'll keep it warm for the rest of the week. By this weekend, temperatures take a dip. And as we head out toward mid-May, high temperatures return to above normal levels right around the century mark. Lows during this time in the 60s and 70s. And that's going to wrap it up for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Otherwise, be safe out there and have yourselves a great Monday.